It's an un unbelievable country, first of all, but we have problems. We've got a lot of problems uh, from a financial perspective, from corruption perspective and crime. Um, and then to come back uh, to South Africa, that's actually quite a divided country. You know, we've got a lot of different races, languages, religions, all those kind of things. And then coming back to South Africa and then seeing 15, 20,000 people at Oliver Tombo supporting the Springboks. And once again, rugby is seen as a predominantly uh, a white, white sport. And then you get there with Sia Khaleesi, got with Rashi Rasmus, got the World Cup and you've got these a massive amount of uh, supporters just there to support South Africa, the Springboks. And not just on the day that we arrived there, but the whole week we had, we went from from city to city, most throughout South Africa, and not just the cities. We went to townships and everything. And for me, as a white South African, getting there and not feeling any kind of danger was unbelievable. People running down the streets, irrelevant of your background or upbringing or the color of your skin, we were all united. And you, I know you, a long time ago, Nelson Mandela said, um, sport, sport has got the power to unite and that's for the first time I've seen that power when Sia is uh, holding that cup and, and everyone is just going Springbok, Springbok, Springbok or Sia, Sia, Sia and for us it's, it's, it was very emotional it was um, as a South African I felt very proud even though we've gone through a very difficult time and hopefully through something very magical like this we can give hope to all South Africans, irrelevant of where you grow up or where you go to school or what background you are. Because if you look at Sia, Lukanyo, Mapimps, they came out of townships that they didn't know where the next meal was coming from. So they came from very hard upbringings. And for me to experience the places where they grew up was emotional. Uh, and I think everyone would, would have the appreciation how hard they would have worked to get where they are. And then you've got a whole group that comes totally from different angles and different places in South Africa. And as a Springbok team, when we were in Japan, that was what united us, is our difference, Jim. As we are all different, but if you accept each other's differences and try to use those difference, dif differences, then you can become stronger as a unit. And that was sort of the chat around um, our team. You know, it's so many different uh, backgrounds, cultures and things, and let's embrace each other and let's make it the best World Cup ever. And that was um, pretty special.